Hey everyone, this is Matt Weisfeld again with VPI Industries and staying true to what we're trying to do as far as having a weekly video, audio recording, whatever you want to call this. Again, still working on formulating the format of this. Um, and I think for now, I'm just going to stick with having the VPI logo as the visual and then have this available as an audio file for those using this as a podcast and having this in the VPI logo video form on YouTube. Again, creating the ability to have feedback and content and just learning experiences available on different mediums other than Facebook and those ideas. So today I just want to talk about um, something I was working on the emails. It is still the holiday for when you're watching this. Uh, well, it probably won't be when you're watching this, but um, at recording of this, we're currently closed for the holiday and um, going through a couple of emails and just answered two of the same question. So I thought I'd talk about that really quick so people can look this up and get some information. And that is that little annoying squeaky noise that you sometimes have when turning on a VPI motor. First, I wanted to explain what that is and then explain how to fix it and explain why we haven't, because we already did. So when you turn on the belt, the motor and, I'm sorry, the pulley rather, the friction with the pulley and the belt and the overall startup with the platter creates that quick little squeaky noise. Now, that was solved years ago. What my dad used to do, Harry Weisfeld, for those who are watching this for the first time or don't know us, but Harry Weisfeld, the original founder, solved this issue by taking the belts and putting them in a little baggie with talc powder or baby powder. I, I was once told I shouldn't call it baby powder because it lessens it, but realistically, that, that's what it is. You just use some baby powder in a baggie, and that's how we used to ship it. However, as wacky as this sounds, after 9-11 and that fun little anthrax scare, yeah, my dad, mom and dad, Sheila Weisfeld, had to deal with an FBI investigation. Nothing crazy, but they actually thought we were shipping internationally little baggies of anthrax. And even though I wasn't really a part of the company when this happened, I was in the office. I don't remember what I was doing, probably helping my mom out with some technological stuff like, you know, emails or opening up a, a window. And yeah, they came in and uh, did a whole little interview and everything with my parents. And uh, then they immediately saw, oh, these guys make turntables that are not manufacturing anthrax. But we were told right then and there to basically stop and that we couldn't ship out any of the product with the little baggies of powder. I'm sure nowadays it would probably be fine, but one less chance we don't want to take or headache. And yeah, so that's what stopped us shipping all of our products with the belts and a little baggie of powder. So that's why now you have potentially that little squeaky noise and the two ways to fix it actually. First is taking your belt, putting in a little baggie of powder, shake it around a little bit and you're good. Another way, but I believe you have to reapply it more often is taking a little touch of, of oil, whatever type of oil, I don't know, we always say 40 weight motor oil, but I don't think it would really matter in this case. You just take a touch of oil and put it on the belt and then you'd be good to go and that squeak will go away. Me personally, I don't use either because the squeak only happens initially, you know, when the startup and, the, and for me personally, I a lot of times don't even turn my motor off when I change records. Not that I'm recommending that, but just something to throw out there. So anyway, again, um, we to get rid of that squeaky noise, if you get it on startup, throw your belt in a bag of baby powder, talc powder, or just use a touch of 40 weight motor oil. And that's your fun little advice for the day. And hope you're all having a great holiday break. If you're listening or watching this during the break. And if you're watching this afterwards, I hope you had a happy holiday break.